Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. Exalt your name. Mm. We magnify you because you're a good God. Lord Jesus, even as you speak to us right now, I will pray through the word. I ask, O oh God, that the heaven be open for me and for every genuine member of this ministry and those who are connected with us genuinely in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, because I know your love for us. Is unbeatable. In Jesus Christ, my name we pray. Amen. And then we have a message which was preached long, long time ago. And as the service was on, the Spirit of God ministered to me that I should go back to that message and will pray through it. The title of the message is Wake Up. Behold, the enemies are here. Wake up! You all, those who want to destroy your children are right there with you while you are sleeping. You all, those who are polluting our children every day are here while we are sleeping. You all, those who are who you are saying they are your enemy, they are not sleeping. Wake up! Wake up. Many Christians, almost all Christians are sleeping, including me. Almost every one of us have gone to sleep. Why the enemies have refused to sleep? Their eyes are more open. Why we are slumbering and sleeping? The Spirit of the Lord is saying, if you and I must survive in this hard time that we are, in this most crucial time that we are, in this most dangerous day that we are, we must do everything possible to wake up from our sleeping. The Bible says, when the Lord Jesus Christ was about to be crucified, he called us some of his disciples and told them the hour is now. The hour that the Son of Man must be crucified has come. And he selected Peter, James, and John, including other disciples, and asked them, Come and watch and pray with me. Not for my sake, but for your sake, that you may not enter into temptation. Yes, Mr. Fenner, can you meet that person, please? Sister Ho. Uh, okay, I don't know. Can everybody meet your mic, please? Everybody meet your mic. Thank you. So then, please thank you. 
Hallelujah. He asked them, Come and watch and pray with me that you may be able to overcome what is about to happen. The Bible said they all followed him. Just as we all have followed him now in this crucial time. They all followed him. And the Lord just as ah, the rest wait behind here. Peter, James, and John, follow me. I believe you are the prayer band in the ministry. In my ministry, these are the prayer band. Follow me. Just as the Lord will look now, say, ah, Emmanuel, Ferdinand, so so follow me. And Peter, James, and John followed him. Follow him to where war zone. The Bible says, and they went there. The Lord just gave them a little yard and went into prayer. And the armies the Lord asked to work with him is not yet up to anything. The Bible said they slept. Why those who are coming to arrest their masters was on their way. Their lamp was with them. The sword, everything was with them. They were coming. And those that the Lord put his trust on, so to say, that these people are there to watch and pray with me. The Bible says they were sleeping. Just just as the Lord is saying now I trust some of my children in this end time I've selected Indidi I've selected Maria I've selected Ego I've selected so many people to always be there for my church because I know the enemy are coming again I know these are the people who will always be there praying for my church and it's watching I know so long as these people I mentioned, I mentioned now are there nothing shall be able to happen to any child in this ministry I know they, are, they will always be there whatever hour that is coming in coming the night, in coming the day they will always be there to send it back to their prayer and I'll tell the edges, angel, you know what? Just be at a lot whenever they give command because our prayer is the command of the angels whenever these people give command get up and fight and heaven to be watching to see how these people are doing it and sadly sadly even these same people the lord put that is is made on the enemy will come and start pitching them the enemy will come with flood them even turn them from their bed and land them on the ground is such a thing can happen to such people where all about the people they are asked to God. And this is what is happening in the church today. The Bible told us in Mark chapter 4, where I just explained just now, let me just quickly read through Mark chapter 14 from verse 37. From verse 37. And he came, he commented, and found them asleep. And said unto Peter, Simon, sleep thou? In the day are you sleeping? In the are you sleeping? Somebody may ask me, does, does not Jesus Christ know everything? Do you mean that Christ didn't know they would sleep off? No, he has given you the right to eat that sleep or not. You and I are free moral agents. 
All he had done, he had commissioned something in your hands. It's not left for you, Antonia, to see if you can sleep on duty, if you will sleep on duty, or you wake up. Peter, I want you to put your name there, oh ye man of God, oh ye child of God. As I'm preaching this message, I am pained. I am I am sorry for myself. We are in a ministry where we don't pretend, pretend it is not allowed. We are on a multi where you are not you, you are not free to pretend. You must express yourself. As I'm preaching this message, my heart is bleeding. My heart is pending me. He says, Simon, Peter, Emmanuel, sleep it down. Who did you watch with me? Could not thou watch one hour with me? Could not you defend your children for me? The children I put in your hand to be a caretaker. Could not you put the angels at work on their behalf? What have happened to you, mother, sisters? What have happened to you, man of God, that you cannot pray anymore? Behold, the enemies are here, but you are sleeping. Verse 59. And again he went away and prayed. And spake the same word. And when he returned, he found them asleep. Sister E, did he, how long will you sleep? Emmanuel, how long will you sleep? Oh, ye that's listening to me, how long will you sleep? And when he returned, he found them asleep again. The angel is about to come and walk. He is sleeping again. The angels are waiting for someone to direct them. But the directors, the commanders are sleeping again. Wherever you are listening to me, are you sleeping again? Behold, the commanders who have the power in their tongue, unless you speak it, it cannot happen. But the mouths are closed, they are sleeping. Until you voice it out, it cannot work. The power is your tongue. You must have to be at a lot to speak it. But the Lord is saying, my children are sleeping again. I came last week, last week they were sleeping. Last month, a month ago, they were sleeping. Two months ago, they were sleeping. Yes, they were sleeping. And I come again and they are still sleeping. The church of God is sleeping. The enemy are getting stronger and stronger every day. The more we sleep, the more they get stronger. Church, the more we are sleeping, the more the enemies are getting stronger and stronger every day. For the hardness of my soul. For their, their eyes were heavy. Their eyes were heavy. Our eyes are heavy like people, like rats that eat in the seed. Christians who are supposed to be at a lot all the time, we can't pray for four hours anymore. We can't pray for two hours anymore. We can't pray for one hour, 13 minutes anymore. We can't pray for one hour anymore. What is happening? What is happening? Are we are what soldiers of the Lord? Father, deliver me. Father, deliver me. Verse, verse 40 again. And when he returned, our father sleep again, sleeping again. For the eyes were heavy, neither with their what to answer him. How can they answer? Dreams. You don't understand your dream anymore. Vision you don't see anymore. You sleep and wake up, but I don't know what you dream. I do not remember what is happening to us. Open vision is no more there. 
sleeping and seeing vision is no more there. How can we survive this? The Bible says without vision, people perish. How can we survive this? What are we doing to our next generation? Sister Maria, what are we doing to our children? What are we doing? The world is getting more wicked. Christians are getting more weak. Do you understand, sir? The world is getting stronger in their wickedness. Why that the Christians are getting weaker in their weaknesses? All we do now, we are clothed and just be walking. We, we are able to stumble and, and wake up, we gather ahead. What about our prayer altar? At that time, when the children will be sleeping, we will be speaking life into the three hours, four hours. Where it was happened to us? What happened to us? We were able to kneel down for 20 minutes. We make, the, we make those ways. Get up. We have, uh, we have tried today. What happened? Behold, the enemies. Oh, yeah. one. I came the third time and said unto them, Sleep on in the sleep on, Maria. Sleep on. Sleep on. Keep on sleeping. These are the people I had to come and watch with me. I came the first time. You are sleeping. Second time, sleep on. You, 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 you have no use anymore. Oh, Father, have mercy upon me. Sleep on, you have no use anymore. Sleep on, I find no need of waking you up again. The deal is done. The enemy are here. They are already operating. Look at the children. Look at life. This afternoon said that because you are refused to wake up, sleep on. What is the need of telling you to wake up again? Brother. I give another chance for God in here. Sleep on, take your rest. Take your rest. What have you done that you are resting? Then now, take your rest. You ask yourself, edit, ask yourself, what have I done that I have told me to take my rest? Take your rest, that's mockery, mockery rest. Did you take your rest for all the food that we eat this morning? You take your rest. Which farm did you go to that you take your rest? What have you done? That the Lord is saying now, Esosa, Emmanuel, whatever your name is, take your rest. Take your rest. It is enough. Get up. It is enough. See, see the sequence. It is enough. The hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man, which we are supposed to pray to defend, had been betrayed into the hands of the enemy. The children we are supposed to protect. That be that be polluted. Let us go. Just follow me. Let me go. let's walk into their hands. They are there. Follow me. Let's walk into their hands. That is what our children are doing. They wake up in the morning. No serious prayer for them. We put food in the table. I mean, their back. They go. We don't load there with fire. The parents are weak accord. The children are very, very, very cold. And whenever they get to school, the demonic person look, I mean the demonic people at school look at them, there's no fire in them. Do you know why? Because we, the parents, have refused to wake up. The church is being polluted because the pastors have refused to wake up. 
family had been turned upside down. Why? Because husbands and wives who are Christians have refused to wake up. And the enemy are soaring every day. The enemy are getting stronger and stronger every day. All we do now mostly is to make noise. Uh, if you see what they are doing to our children, uh, what they are doing to our children school, go on your knees and settle it. We cannot. We cannot. Praise the Lord. The Bible told us in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 9. How long will thou sleep, ego? How long will you sleep, whoever your name is? When will thou arise? When? Is it after all the children are gone? Is it when you find yourself on the, in the grave already? When you wake up, there's no prayer in the grave. There is no pray. Is it until they drag you into hell before you, before you and I pray ourselves out of hell? Is it until the Lord does? We all know that the world is getting more porous every day. Almost everything is polluted. Is it until the pollution destroys us before we wake up and pray? Now that things are still a little bit okay, okay, we cannot pray. Is it when, er when everything is totally finished? We pray. How long will that sleep? Please, I want you to ask Sam that question. Ask yourself and answer it. Emmanuel, how long? They move across to now. Call your name straight. Not Mama Paul. Call your name. How long will I sleep? How long? How long? Oh, slow God. When will that arise? Out of the sleep. When is a question. When? Supposed to be when? Give me time. If you tell me, okay, it's 10 years time, keep on sleeping. And if you say, Lord, I want to wake, I want to wake up now, it will wake you up. It's not left for you and I to look at our children in this dangerous time. It's not left for the ministers of this mountain to look at this ministry in this dangerous time. And keep on sleeping. But the Lord is asking me and you, when do you want to wake up? Sister Atuna Okaka, when do you want to wake up? Oh, ye children of God, when? Anytime you get to him, no problem. But the, time is, the question is, when would you want to wake up? But then, it is written, in Psalm chapter 13, verse 3, consider and hear, hear me, O Lord my God, lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Many of us are about dying. We are not just managing. Lighten my eyes, O my Father, take away sleep from me, as the enemy will finish me. This is the cry of David to God. God, please lighten my eyes. Take away sleep from me that I may know to pray. Because they that are pursuing me are so much. They are not sleeping. They are not ready to get their eyes sleep. Father, please take sleep from me. Yes. Our children will grow up and become wayward. Yes. Our children in this generation of ice cream pollution, generation of, of everything polluted. I tell you something if we don't wake up, if we don't wake up and pray them out of where the devil put them, forget it. After our departure, if Christ tarry, you'll be looking for a man of God who will stand, you will not see again. Every true believer, every fathers and mothers must go to must go to their knees now. Must wake up. Must pray this prayer. Father, take sleep out of me. Yes, I 
and my children are sleeping. What is happening in Nigeria now is because the churches have gone to sleep. The leaders of the churches have gone to sleep. They have gone to sleep. Though no, they are working, they are working but sleeping. Though no, our eyes might be open, but yet we are sleeping. We are sleeping spiritually. We have gone to sleep spiritually. The church have gone to sleep spiritually. And that is why the American kingdom, the power of darkness, they, 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 are not, they are not heading parties in church. Church have become a place where the enemy can come in and go as, as they like. Prayer band will be praying. Prayers will be going on. You will see demons will be there. It's a shame. Church must wake up. The ministers of this mountain. Church out there. It's time to awaken to our stubbornness. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible told us in Nahum 3 verse 18. The shepherds slumber. The shepherds are going to sleep. Now, in the shepherd slumber now, what happened to the, to the sheep? If the shepherd have gone to sleep, if parents have gone to sleep, what happened? The children will not cover themselves up. If by 8 o'clock, the parents are all saying, what happened to the children? They will, they will only just watch television till 12 o'clock and go, go to sleep. It's a shame for children to be saying, Papa, I'm always sleeping. Let us watch television. It's a shame. It's a shame for children to put. That is what is happening now. Children are now putting us to sleep. Hey, hey, hey Daniel, uh, Mama is sleeping. Uh, Samuel, Mama is sleeping. That is what's happening now. Let us go to Paro and watch telly. Papa and Mama are sleeping. Our children will get up from the bed by 11. They will watch television from 11 to maybe 4 o'clock. They will go and okay, they will still wake up now. They will go back to sleep and pretend as if they are sleeping. Why Papa and Mama, who are supposed to be at a lot, who are supposed to be the watch people, they are in Garo, And we are saying, we are what? Watch men. Every mother is a watch woman to the parents, to the children. Every father is a watchman. A watchman have gone to sleep, and the children we are supposed to watch now. They are not the one even awake a little bit. It's a shame for your, your child in the night to see Papa and Mama is sleeping. Let us go and watch television. It's a shame. The shepherd has stumbled. O king of Assyria, the noble dwell in the dust. The people is scattered upon the mountain, and no man gather them. How will you gather them? You are sleeping. Is is it possible for a man to sleep to fight? No, you can't fight. The Bible says the noble have gone. Astray, the children of God are scattered everywhere, like shepherd. I mean, sheep without shepherd. In the night, the witch and wizard will do their own. In the daytime, you will still go to school. It's only God to help, help our children. It will take the grace of God for all these children. It will take the special grace of God for all these children to survive. The power of the darkness will do that all while we are sleeping in the night. In the daytime, we will see hand over. These are supposed to have loaded them with fire. Before they go to, go to school, they will still, go, they still get there. They will still pollute them. In the night, they are polluted. In the day, they are polluted. And we are expecting proceeds from them in future. We are expecting them to be in future. No. Parents, Emmanuel, pastors, Whoever you call yourself, we must wake up. Say, behold, the people is scattered upon the mountain 
uh, no one gathered. You know why? Because those who have gathered them have gone to sleep. Look at how they are killing the people in Nigeria. Why? Because the shepherd have gone to sleep. The churches, though they are so big, they are all sleeping. If I see if they are awake because they dance and dance and dance and dance, I don't know they are sleeping. The spirit man is sleeping. Sleeping. All oh, what our parents, we now know what to do. If we take care of uh, we bear close of our children. We give them food. But the real one that would give them future, the prayer that, 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 that will prepare them, they are not struggling with them anymore. We are able to manage maybe two minutes, one hour. If uh, if you pray for one hour, ah, uh, uh, today I pray very well. It's a shame. It's a shame. I pray this student, the Lord will wake, wake them up by Himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible told us in First Samuel chapter twenty six. First Samuel twenty six from verse six. Good day, uh, boy. First Samuel chapter twenty six. From verse 6 down. Thank you, Jesus. This is what the enemy does every night whenever they come. First Samuel 26 from verse 6. They answered. I start from verse uh, 3 for clarity. And so pitch in the hill of Hercula. Which is before Jehshamo. By the way, but David abode in the wilderness. And he saw that Saul, Saul came after him into the wilderness. Just as we will be praying now. We will pray in the detail, pray, pray, pray. And they are praying. Look at the apostles there and them. They are praying now. Let us word them. Let them, let's word them to pray now or today. The Bible says, and then he saw that, that he saw came outside him in the wilderness. David therefore sent out spies and understood that Saul was come in the very deed. Hey, just as the enemies are watching us closely, just as the enemy are sending spies every time, I want to monitor when they always pray and sleep. And David arose. I came to the place where I saw her pitch. And David beheld his pitch. So I David beheld the place where I saw lay. And Abner, the son of Mal, the captain of his host, I saw lay in the trench. And the people pitch and ran about him. He saw the man of God. He saw the, the, the ministers. He saw the prayer band. The Bible said they all step off. Then answered David and said to Abimelech, Ahimelech, the Hittite, and to Abishia, the son of Zerah, brother to Joab, saying, Who will go down with me to Saul, to the camp, to the very camp, is to the very camp of Saul? Just as in the Kobu, they say, Who will go now? That place. Uh, they are praying. Don't go. You meet the you meet the sleeping now. In prayer, in prayer, do the prayer. Who we go? And they call the leader. The leader. So let me do that. The somebody do that. Go go. The other one say go. And maybe the enemy people among them. Just watch them to see how all of them are falling asleep one by one. The end has come today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hey, who will go with me? To Saul, to the camp. And uh, Abisha said, I will go down with thee. Seven. So David and Abisha came to, to the people by night. And uh, behold, Saul lay, asleep, lay sleeping. Oh, Father, have mercy. Behold, a man is sleeping within the trench. 
and spare his Bible within the church and spare within, I mean, I come again, verse 7. So, David and Abishai came to the people by night and behold, Saul lay asleep, sleeping with the church and his spare struck in the ground at the buster. But Abner and the people lay round about him. They dropped the Bible somewhere in the Bible, it didn't hold there. Emmanuel is sleeping. Third night is sleeping there. Daniel is sleeping there. All of them are sleeping. And the people of God on the mountain, they have gone to sleep. That is what is happening now. We all shall awake this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Abner and the people lay them about him. It. Then said Abisha to David, Go, God has delivered the enemies unto the hands this day. Now, therefore, let us smite him, I pray thee, with his prayer, even to the earth at once. And I will not smite him the second time. Ew. Ew. Sister Veronica, this is what the enemies are doing to our children. Come to the house. Look at them, they are sleeping. Let me kill this child now. Come on, don't just afflict him so that they will suffer. Let kill them. No, don't worry. Just give them, give them small, small sickness. So that when they break, they start vomiting, they start doing all sorts of things, they start running up and down. I think you have been thank you, man. Mr. Mike. This is what is happening. Every now and then they come to the camp of the children of God. What they see is the sleeper. And whenever, let me say, 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 say this, whenever the enemy comes to you and need to sleep it, they will never go by the way they came. They must drop something. That they drop sickness, they drop misfortune, they drop elongation of the problem they are going through. But I pray that the Lord is speaking right now to me. Every one of all that have gone to sleep, and whatever they have done to me and you during our sleeping time. The Lord shall wake us up and undo all they have done to us in the name of Jesus Christ. It's painful. It's painful. It's painful. The Bible told us in Proverbs 6, verse 4, verse 4, Give no sleep to the eyes, no slumber to the eyelids. Deliver thyself as a Lord. From the hands of the hotel. Daniel or say it, deliver thyself. This is the message. He who cared to listen to me, deliver thyself. This is the message. The enemies are up. The enemies are everywhere. The power is in your tongue. The power is in your mouth. You can't say it when you are sleeping. Give no sleep to the eyes, no slobber to the eyelid. Deliver that, deliver that self as a roy from the head of the hunter. They are hunting after your soul. Sister Indidi, look, they are hunting after your soul. Emmanuel. The enemies are haunting after your soul. Mr. Matthew, the enemies are haunting after your soul daily. And they know everything about you. They know we love to sleep. They know we love to slumber. They know all we do now is to make noise. From now on. Whatever the enemies have done to us long time ago, whatever we ate long time ago, whatever clothes we wore long time ago, 
whatever spell that was cast upon us a long time ago is now working now, making us to sleep now, even on duty. May the Lord deliver us from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm afraid of this, our children. I'm afraid of this generation that we are giving birth to. I'm afraid. And as a bird from the hands of the fowler, it's not saying that I will, I will deliver. You say deliver thyself in prayer. Let the prayer altar be on fire all the time. Set the walls on fire. Set the floor fire. Set everything on fire. You can't do that while sleeping. We can't do that while sleeping. The mouth must be open. You have the power to change the life of your, of your children. You have the power to change the life of your husband. But it must be done in persistent prayer. In persistent prayer. You must be stormy heaven all the time. For it to be done. There's nothing prayer cannot do. The fervent prayer Fervent prayer is demanded for you and I to survive the, the, the state we are now. Go to the aunt, verse 6. Thou slow God, consider her ways and be wise. Verse 7. Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, but provided meat in the summer and gathers her food. In the harvest. How long will thou sleep, Emmanuel? How long will you sleep, my brother and sister? O slogan, where will thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep. Now, Mr. Matthew, the Bible says a little sleep, but our own is those. In the Bible, we say, yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little fold of hands. To sleep, so shall the poverty. The poverty that we're talking about is not poverty. You don't have money. You can have, you can have money, no problem. But both your money and everything you have is useless. The poverty we are talking about is spiritual poverty, which is the worst. Spiritual deadness is the worst death. The Bible is saying. Joy or sadness, little sleep, little slumber, little for the fun, power to come. But you and I, we have those of sleep. If a little sleep can cause this, now I myself, the one that the one we have been have cost 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 us now. Sister Antonia, if a little sleep can make can cause this damage. Tell me, we that are just, we now have certificate in sleeping. We now have certificate in snowballing. We now enjoy it. The devil has so sleep, given us comfortable bed to sleep on. And they have, they have given us good spread to, 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 for the harvest upon me here. Harvest upon me. Harvest. We have 24 hours of the day. If we are able to pray for 30 minutes, we say we are prayed. Shame! Shame. I'm talking about myself. Maybe you are, you are, you are still very brilliant prayer. I'm talking about myself as a watchman. If I can be so, if it can be so painful to me, I wonder some of you that don't even pray at all. I wonder how it would be to some of you who are depending on your pastor to pray for you. You saw my father still managed to pray for maybe for some hours or so. I still are crying that they are sleeping. I wonder some of us that don't pray or that, that are totally dead. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little fold of hand. So shall poverty come. But your own have gone beyond little sleep. Our own have gone beyond little slumber. We are not having certificate of sleeping. I'm sorry. 
and yet we want something to happen. We want to see manifestation. We want to see ourselves rapture. Let me tell you something. Ra to be raptured is not just only about I don't steal again, I don't forget again. Prayer also follow. Our prayer life counts. We must pray ourselves out of the kingdom of darkness into, his, into the kingdom of his daylight. Prayer is demanded. But how can we pray? Why? We are sleeping at somebody. How can we survive these dangerous days? Why we are not enjoying to sleep? I remember. That's why sometimes to, 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 to say past past miracle, I, I, I'll be I'll be ashamed. Because I refuse to live on past glory. Many of us today are not living on past glory. It's a shame to say, I used to pray for our one before. We are supposed to grow. Ah, if, no, if you see me those days, I used to pray five hours, ten hours. How, Anna, you have grown now. How many hours now? 30 minutes. And that's 30 minutes. The first is in Jesus' name. After the, 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 fourth, the fourth minute is amen out of sleep. Father, deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Look at what our brother says here, bro, bro, uh, King David. Psalm 134, 132, verse 4. I will not give sleep to my eyes. I will not give. The reason why we are sleeping is that we don't know, we don't really know what we need. We don't understand to make everyone how difficult it is. If the Lord opened our eyes to see those who have gone out before us, the apostle Paul and all, what they went through, their knees, their knees are like some paper. In this microwave Christianity, we also say, what are they carrying? If God opened our eyes, if Christ himself, who is God himself, can pray, that was all through the night, it was a prayer. But here, I, ordinary man, I cannot pray. God himself, Jesus, the Bible said he went into prayer and prayed all through the night. You think it was praying so that they were not, they were not praising him? You think it was praying so that they were not him? No, no, no. No. What are you doing? How many of us now can boldly say that 24 hours of the day, including you, including me, in 24 hours I'm able to pray for six hours or five hours or four hours a day? How many? How many? We, though we are working, we are sleeping. Though our eyes are open, we are sleeping. Sleeping is not, it's not just only when you close your eyes. No! You can, your eyes can be open, you are sleeping. Anytime you refuse to do what you are supposed to do, you are sleeping. Anytime, as a child of God, you are not doing what you ought to do that will benefit your spiritual up upgrading. You are not sleeping. So, I and Stasosa, most of the time now we are sleeping. I and you, most of the time we are sleeping. The Bible told us in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 17, He that knoweth to do the right thing and do it done. The Bible says, Pray without ceasing. And we know this is the right to do. We are not doing it. The Bible says, We are sleeping. And we are sinning. James 4 17. He that knoweth to do the right thing and doeth it not, you are what? Sleeping. The same. Psalm 132, verse 4. I will not give sleep to my eye or, or slumber to my eyelid until I find out a place for the Lord. And habitation for the mighty God of Jacob 
if it's an EDD, we say, I will not sleep until I see my children become what you be. She has not, not done evil. If Sister Antonia Okaka, if Sister Maria Osezele, say, God, take a waste from me until I see that my children become what they will be. They are not done, they are not done evil. I will never sleep until I see my husband be what I, I, I want God to make, it, to make it to be. You have not done evil. And when the Lord see that, if my daughter, you mean, she mean what you're saying, I tell you, he will rise and manifest. If the Lord see that of a truth, what my daughter say is true, you are struggling all the time to make sure you are on your knees. I tell you, heaven will shake. I think something. Before we start, before I started this ministry, I get almost a one year plus. I was locking myself inside the room, praying. That's why I was like broom. Pray every time, every day. I was praying and fasting every time for more than one year. And I see what God did. And I'm saying, God, any position that will take me away from who I'm supposed to be in my prayer life, better take it away from me. It's better I am alone. I'm praying that I have people around me I can't pray anymore. Yes. Yes. It's better I can still pray. I can still have time to pray and study and do what I'm doing. That I am not busy doing nothing. And on the last they will tell you, walk out of iniquity. Go for this and go back to my prayer altar. And if I that can still pray sometimes, if I that can still say, in the night I will not sleep, let me pray. If, I'm, if I am crying this way, I wonder, I wonder, some of all that don't even pray at all. The power to kindle our fire is prayer. The power, the more we pray, the more we be like God. The more we pray, the more we suck ourselves into Him. The more we pray, the more the fire is burning. But today, we are busy doing nothing. We are busy, we are being selfish with the flesh. We are voting for the flesh. I need work. I got this, I got that. And in that, the Lord is saying we are sleeping. David said, I will never sleep until I do this. Now, I want to ask you a question. What is that thing that said until this, I will not do this? Sister Esosa is echo. What is that thing? Your spiritual life. Mr. Matthew, what is that thing? Your spiritual life. You say, Lord, until I see this happen, I will not do this. Challenge is what the Lord wants to say. The challenge you me. Challenge you me. I will never sleep until I see this turn around in my, in, in, in my marriage. I will never sleep until I see such a thing happen. And the Lord will be watching. And as you have said it, it will empower you to do it. It's not a power, it will empower you. But because you and I, we are comfortable in our sleep, you have left us. I will be crying and look at our children and look at our this thing. Look at them. Why would it happen to them? When we that are supposed to be watchmen for them are going to sleep. The Lord will wake me up and wake you up this, this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible, I will take uh, just to become time with, with a prayer. The Bible told us in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14. Wherefore, he said, Awake thou sleepest. Awake. Thou that sleepest, arise from the dead. It means many of us are, are, are even dead already. Awake thou that sleepest, 
arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you the light. Before the light will come, you must wake up. Hmm? Ready? Before the light will come, you must wake up. Sister Antonia Okaka, before that to happen, you must wake up. Let me go to a place in the Bible, the speaker put my hands in my, hands, in my head now. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Arise! Arise! First of all, until you arise, you will not shine. Arise! Shine! For the light is come. Not the light will come. The light is there, but you must wake up to, to, to grab it. Arise! Shine! For the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall, uh, shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. But before then, you must first of all wake up. Ephesians 5 verse 14. Wake up! Until you wake up, the glory will not shine. The glory is there. The light is there, but you must wake up. Like now, if this light, if this light is like this now, it's off. If I am sleeping, here, no, no matter how long I sleep here, that light will never on. But there's, there's power connecting this light to the bulb. All I have to do is to wake up on all the lights in prayer. All you have to do is to wake up and pray away through. I have to get up and all the light. That is what is happening right now. The miracle you are running up and down for, looking for first prophet to pray for you to prophesy on you, is right there with you. But so long you are sleeping, going up and down in your stubbornness, the miracle will be there. You will never get it. Get up and get what happened to you. Arise! Shine! For the light is come. And the glory of the Lord shall be risen upon you. Behold, gross darkness shall cover the people. And it is happening now. Most of the churches are covered with darkness. You know why? Because the shepherds have gone to sleep. The prayer bars have gone to sleep. I'm not talking about uh, you come to the mouth, you're, you're just shaking your head there. I'm not talking about the, the shaking head, we're shaking head where, where, where we are together. No. No. I'm not, hey, oh, he goes, oh, he goes. Well, no, I mean your prayer altar. Your prayer altar. The devil has succeeded in using some uh, 500. 500 uh, 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 whatever of water to load our prayer altar. Prayer altar that's supposed to be burning is not like it's not like ocean. They're not sweeping. I mean, they're not swimming on it. Prayer altar is supposed to be on fire, but now it has become a uh, swimming pool. You're not gonna be sleeping. You'll be seeing yourself in the river. See yourself in, in places. Why? Why would you see yourself there? When your prayer altar has become a swimming pool. When prayer altar has become a swimming pool, why won't you be seeing yourself dreaming, swimming in the river? I don't dream. I saw myself in the one river. Why would you not see yourself there when your prayer altar has become a swimming pool? That swimming pool will be dried up this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I take this one and um, go to prayer. So wash ye therefore and pray always, sister and the joy. Always. Always means if you go this way, you pray. Always. Go this way. Pray anywhere. Pray. 
Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape. Samaria, get this. For you and I to escape what we what is going to take place in this earth. For you and I to escape in rapture. We must pray always. You hear me? Watch your eyes be open and pray always. Watch by studying the word of God and pray always that you and I may be accounted worthy to escape all these things I, that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of God. Hmm. The Matthew. To be able to stand before the Son of God, it means we must pray ourselves in there. To escape, we must pray ourselves out of the end of right now. To be worthy to escape, to be an escapee, we must pray. Not the one we're doing now, all praise. So this is the prayer, even the prayer now, it's okay. Let all the coming to pray together so that we we'll be I will, I will sharpen, sharpen iron. How many people? Know that those who are home they are praying. Home. No. You come so so time so that when we see ourselves, we'll be strong. No. No. We have become people who love sleeping. And we know that the powers we are wrestling with. They don't sleep. The fiancés, they don't sleep. They don't sleep. They are called spiritual power in high places. Spiritual wickedness. Can somebody read the fiancés to the city of also? For you to know what we are into. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Hold on. Against Hold on. For we do what? Wrestle not what? against flesh and blood. How do you understand by wrestle? Fighting. Mm -hmm. hmm? We wrestle not, we fight not. It means Christians, we are at war. All the time. Believers, we are at war all the time. Most of the time, we come to ourselves in uh, with the scripture. The Bible says in uh, uh, um, the Lord shall fight for you. Yes. But it's something. That one was the physical one. They were coming. But the one with Anna is spiritual. It tastes. That was Koro Koro. I see you. But this one, he said, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Against what? Principalities against powers. Yes! Sister, brother, against principalities, against powers. Of what? Against the rulers of darkness of this world. Ma, listen. Not against half guests. Not against the other thing, against the rulers. The rulers of darkness of this world, the magog, the gog, the, the Ashmodels, the, 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 the Leviathans, the Jezebels, the rulers of darkness in this world. And you and I, I think we are wrestling, we are sleeping. Just consider, look at this one. In this one, because Bible call us the army of the Lord. Army, because army when they are at war, they are always at a lot. Are you an army of the Lord? Or police police of the Lord? Or uh, those are in the, they, see, they see Lagos, they call the yellow, yellow fever. Even yellow fever, they will at a, they will see at a lot they, they like this. They will at a lot see. Or you are here. We have dropped our gun, drop everything, our mouth is closed. But please finish it. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. 
against spiritual wickedness. They are wicked. They don't, they, there's no mercy in them. In what? In low places, right? High places. <laughs> in high places. So your prayer must be able to penetrate them in the high places before you can be able to bring them down. Well, here we are. Sleeping. Well, it's eight o'clock. We have already dressed in our bed to sleep. Daytime. Even while we are walking on the street, we cannot. We are sleeping. This minute. I may not raise prayer point for you. I may raise. But you have heard what have what have been said concerning you. I may not have mentioned your name. I might have mentioned your name. But if you believe you are involved in what is happening now, look at our nation, Nigeria. We have a lot of pastors there. Holiness pastors everywhere. Jabori everywhere. Church everywhere. Look at what's happening. Why? Because even, even if they dance day and night, night vigil and all, yet they are sleeping. Even in that in, in, in that video, they think they're in that but yet they are sleeping. The Lord calls that they're sleeping. But there's a question. And so, sir, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? If Mr. Matthews now say, okay, Lord, I want to still sleep on like Peter, Peter, James, or John. You give me time. Keep sleeping. But if you are like me, that I am so angry of myself now. I want to wake up. I want my wife to wake up. I want these children to wake up. I want the ministers to wake up. If you are like me, you will go into vibrant prayer. Go into prayer of anger. This prayer now can take us for 30 minutes until you are convinced that you have woken up. Until I am sure I have woken up. Until I am convinced my spirit man has been returned back to me. That, that spirit man has prayed. Until I'm convinced that my prayer altar is no more swimming pool. It has, been, it has become fire. I'm supposed to be. Um, Mr. Fender, please read that place. That says, the fire will never quench the altar. Mr. Fender. Le 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 Leviticus 6.13. Say the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Do you hear that? The fire shall ever burn upon the altar, it shall never go out. But many of our fire have gone totally out. The command, the fire shall ever be burning on the prayer altar, and shall never go out. Well, I'll tell you something. You are able to pray the fire back now. And let us say, fire from heaven come down. That say God is what you are serving. But if you are comfortable with where you are now, no problem. I can see how my brother, brother, brother just, just, just sit down. It's not me, I people. If you are comfortable like that, no problem. But if you are not, I want you to open your mouth. You can stand up. You can run on the ground wherever you are. Cry and say, "Lord, I want to see your fire back to me. My prayer altar be restored. My prayer life be restored. My spiritual life be restored. Wherever they are chaining me, I break the chain. Wherever they are locked me up, I come out of this now. Father, restore me back to who you want me to be. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up and pray." Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, please have